But first, up next, a very funny comedian making his network television debut with us tonight from New Orleans. Give it up for Sean Patton, everybody. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Hey, who here would like to fight me? I will fight you. Do I give off that vibe like I want to fight? Because I, I, I bumped into a gentleman on the street, you know, the other day, by accident. Before I could apologize, he just, he, he was ready to go. He was just like, what? 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 Like loudly inquisitive for no reason. Like, what? 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 And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, what? 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 I was like, what? And he was like, what? And I was like, what? What? <laughs> Confusion, clearly. So to clear matters up, like the true gentleman he is, he took his shirt off. <laughs> then he says, now what? <laughs> Throws his shirt at me. I was like, uh, do you want me to sketch you? I don't... <laughs> don't take your pants off, please, thank you. And that's when he pushed me, and th I realized a fight was afoot. <laughs> and, like, you know, I remember feeling like I was going to faint, which I was fine with, by the way, because no one's going to beat you up after you've just fainted. <laughs> no one. I believe there's something in the Geneva Conventions that reads, if your enemy faints, cool. <laughs> Stick a flag in it. <laughs> but I did not faint. See, we all have an inner child, and my inner child had apparently been taking acting classes because it just took control of me. And suddenly I was in character, and my character feared nothing, especially not a guy without his shirt on. Because he was just like, yo, you fixing to die, bitch. And I was like, you don't know me. I die every day. He was just like, what? <laughs> to which I replied, I will smother your future with my past. <laughs> done, done. Didn't want to fight me anymore. Wanted to put his shirt back on. And I would normally give a guy's shirt back to him, but I was in character. So I wanted to put his shirt on over mine, tear them both off like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> That's how you deal with a predator. That's how, speaking of predators, sharks, awful things, and <laughs> shark attacks are terrible. They really are. But just know this, the victim does not suffer. See, when something that physically traumatic happens to your body, your brain will release adrenaline in your bloodstream so that you don't even feel pain. You just feel an intense rush, really. It's like being on a roller coaster, actually. It's fun, but, you know, <laughs> that's your brain's way of protecting your body from suffering in extreme situations. But why doesn't your brain do that when you get your heart broken? <laughs> that sucks. That hurts. That's painful. I mean, if I had to choose between being eaten by a shark or having my heart broken again, I'd, I'd rather get eaten by the shark. <laughs> because at least I'd know that shark actually wanted me. I, you know, but I'm dating a girl now, and I'm cool, and she's great, and people ask me why I don't write jokes about her and talk about her. I just don't. You know, I don't want to hurt her feelings. Recently, I decided, though, whatever, I'm going to do it. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I ruin relationships. That's what I do. So I sat down the other night, wrote jokes about her, and just as I'm writing the jokes, I'm reminded how lucky I am and how much of a moron I am, because she's beautiful. Why am I, like, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm about to gush over her. She, she's half Filipino and half French, which, mwah, beautiful. She grew up in Morocco. Morocco! That's all I gotta say. It's where sex was invented. <laughs> she, she went to college uh, at, at Temple University, which is in Philadelphia. <laughs> and as Tariq will tell you, wonderful university, terrible neighborhood. So she's like educated, but a thug, which is amazing. Like she'll do quotes like, well, you know, all men's souls are immortal, but the souls of the righteous are divine. That's Socrates, son! And I'm like... Yeah. And 
Because she's got these beautiful green eyes, she takes care of her body, she's in great shape, but she's a chubby chaser, and that's great for me. And, you know, our love life is too hot for NBC, so it's amazing. And as I'm writing the jokes, I'm like, what am I doing? Writing jokes about this beauty in my life. I need to be in bed with her while I still can. So I barge into the bedroom, and that's where I had another realization, which is, oh, that's right, I made her up. <laughs> Yeah. If you fell in love with her like I did, uh, her name is Consuela Yakuza and she does not exist. Thank you guys. Good night. Hey, from New York, check out Sean Thursday nights at Cabin on 2nd Avenue in the East Village. Sean Patton, everybody. Look, being a man and hand.